So now we continue in prayer and we come to our time of confession. And I thought this morning that we would just remind ourselves of the, of the real fundamentals of our calling. So come, Holy Spirit of God, and search our hearts with the light of Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. And let's just take a moment or two of quiet to think about have we loved, do we love the Lord our God with our whole heart, with all our heart, our mind, our soul and our strength, do we truly love all our neighbours as ourselves? So come, let us return to the Lord and say, Lord our God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Have mercy on us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds and revive us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring us his pardon and peace, now and forevermore. Amen. And so we come to our collect for this week. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, Inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we ask God to fill us with boldness and joy to follow him in faithfulness all the days of our life, let's join together now and say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so now we come to our sh time of sharing the peace in our hearts and minds with one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So let's call to mind those lovely, happy, smiling faces that would normally surround us on a Sunday morning. 